Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this music festival inspired makeup look. It is music festival season, so I wanted to recreate something that I would wear if I were going to a music festival. Um, I am recording on day three of weekend one of Coachella. No, I have not gone to Coachella yet. I've been wanting to go for the past three years, but unfortunately, I haven't gone yet. I will go soon. Not soon, but I will go. I will go. Basically, no, I'm taking this off. It's really hot. But yeah, this is just something that I would personally go for. Something simple I would do. If you guys are interested in this little music festival inspired makeup look, please go ahead and keep on watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you guys in my next video. Hey guys, so my face was already moisturized and I moisturized it with my Cetaphil moisturizing lotion and then I went in and primed my face with the new Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist and I used that as a primer. Then I went in and I did my eyebrows and I did them in the color taupe and it's by Anastasia using my number 12 brush. I did do my eyebrows off camera only because it takes me forever. Okay, now moving on to my concealer, I went on and concealed my under eyes and I used the brush M by Morphe M335 and for concealer I used my Naked Skin by Urban Decay. It's Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the color Light Neutral. So after I was done concealing my eyes and my under eyes, I went in with my Glitter Guard Eyeshadow Primer by Sephora and it's a 24 hour primer. And I normally do my eyeshadow before I do any of my foundation. Then I went in with my Shade to Light Contour Kit by Kat Von D. And I went in with the color Lucid. And I went on and set my eyelid. So after setting my eyes using a Morphe 441 brush, I went in with the color Flawless by Morphe in the number ES105, buffing it into my crease from the outer corner of my eye up to the beginning of my eyebrow, avoiding the inner corner of the eye. And I'm just going back and forth, semi-windshield movements. Then I went in with the color Peanut by Morphe in the number ES114 using another M441 brush by Morphe. Doing the same thing as I did with the color Flawless. Just going back and forth motions from the outer corner of my eye, avoiding the inner corner of my eye to the bottom of the beginning of my eyebrow. As well as placing some on the outer V of my eye. Then I went in with the color Deep Skin by Morphe again, the number ES13, using my M433 brush and just putting that in my crease, doing the same thing as I did with the first two colors, but this one I also applied it on the outer V of my eye and just tried making the crease a little darker than what it already kind of was. Then with that same deep skin color, I went in my inner corner of my eye, close to my nose, just to define my nose a little bit more. Then using my Morphe M513 blending brush, I went in with the color Bridesmaid and applied that on the outer V of my eye only, making it darker. Then I 
went in and I ended up applying a little amount on my crease and I put some in the inner corner of my eye. Then I just went in with one of my NYX blending brushes and I blended everything out just so it can look nice and blended. Then I went and grabbed my 350 palette by Morphe and I grabbed the third color of the first row which is like a pinky peachy shimmery color you can say with a touch of gold and I just went and grabbed it with a flat brush by BH Cosmetics and applied that all over my lid. Then I just went back in with my M433 by Morphe blending everything out just so I won't have any of the shimmer on my crease and going back to my 350 palette I went and I grabbed a chocolatey brown and I used my Real Technique blending brush and I just applied that on the outer V of my eye just to make it a little darker. And yes I'm fully aware that my eyeshadow looks like a mess right now but I promise it's not going to look that bad after I apply that eyeliner and I fix everything. Then using a Morphe M250-1 brush and using my L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner, I went in and did my eyeliner. It's a, And I actually sped through this only because it takes me forever to do my eyeliner. Then I went back and I just grabbed some more of the golden peachy color and placed a little bit more on my lid just to brighten it up. Then going in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and using a Kala brush I think it is, brow liner brush, the number 504, I went in and I just fixed the bottom part of the eyeliner making it a little more sharp. Then going back in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the color 127 which is Y335. I just went on and placed it on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, under my eyes, under my nose, on my chin, and I placed it on my neck, but I put that later. Then grabbing my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, I think it is, I went in and I just blended everything in. And here I'm just placing a little bit more foundation on the spots that I think I didn't get enough and blending, blended it out. Then using my Naked Skin by Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the color Light Neutral, I went, on, I went in and put it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, a little bit of my, on my forehead, on the bottom of my nose, and on my chin. I then blended it with my Morphe M335 brush. I think it's a concealer brush, but I use it for concealer. I went in and I buffed out the concealer under my eyes, like how I said in the beginning. I Then I just grabbed my beauty blender again and I just blended everything out. Then I went in with my Airspun Loose Face Powder in the color Translucent Extra Coverage 070-41. Using my beauty, a damp beauty blender, I went and I grabbed some and I just placed that on wherever I used the concealer. And then I went in with my Wet n Wild Blush Brush and dusted the axis off. Then I grabbed my BH Cosmetics Big Fluffy Brush and using my bronzer by Benefit in Hula, I went in and I contoured my nose. Then if you guys saw my previous video on how I do my bronzer, I used my Tuscan Hills Big Fluffy Brush, I think it's a blending brush, powder brush, whatever it is. I use that to bronze up my face and I go back in with Hula by Benefit and just use that on the hollows of my cheekbones. I place that on my forehead, on the temples of my eyes and, and on my jawline just to add some color and some warmth onto my face. Then grabbing the biggest fluffy brush that I own by BH Cosmetics, I just go in. It's a clean brush and I just go and I blend everything out. Then using my Morphe M530 brush, it's a contour brush, well I consider it a contour brush. I go in with Dallas by Benefit and I just place it on top of Hoola just to give it a little oomph. And it also seems like it has a little pinky undertone which is pretty awesome because I actually can use that as a blush. And I just place it on top of wherever I had placed Hoola. Mm -hmm. 
And there I was showing you guys a little of my dance moves. <laughs> so then I went in with my accent brush. I think that's what it is. It's an accent brush. And whatever I did to my eyelids, whatever eyeshadow I did on my eyelids, I did to the bottom of my eyes under my waterline. Oh my god, imagine I did my makeup this fast. It would be amazing. My friends will love me. It takes me so long to do my makeup. It's freaking insane. Then using my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, I just went in and I sprayed that all over my face. Now using my Becca Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. Oh my god, this highlighter is amazing and thank god I purchased it because I love, love, love it. Um, I did drop it and it did break which is pretty sad. I'm really, really scared to fix it but I mean it still works. Anyway, going in with my Morphe M310 fan brush, I just go in and I just fan that on the top of my cheeks, on my nose, on the temples of my eyes, on my chin, and on my cupid's bow. Then after that, I like grabbing my beauty blender or my beauty sponge and I just like setting it. So that way it can stay in place for way longer and it has a nice pretty dewy finish to it. Then I go in with a pencil brush by BH Cosmetics and I just grab some of the highlighter and apply it in the inner corner of my eyes just to brighten up my eyes a little more. Then I go back with my eyeliner brush and my eyeliner and I just make the inner corner of my eyes a little longer only because I have really round eyes or long eyes and I just like to make them like a little kiri, you know, pero like a little kiri. Kiri means cat. <laughs> I then went in and I grabbed my lashes by from Morphe in the number 205 in the color black and I just applied them. This step takes me forever only because my natural eyelashes are really long so I'm not that used to wearing falsies but when I do I like wearing them natural only because like I said my eyelashes are pretty long and I'm barely getting used to it so if they don't look all that great you know why. Then grabbing my Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara, I just go in and I put some on my natural eyelashes just to blend them in with the falsies and I, I put some on my top lashes and on the bottom lash. Let me tell you, I can be very messy. <gasps> and here I had already fixed them so yeah, that's how I do my eyelashes. So here I am holding two colors and the one of them is in the color Limbo and the other one's in the color Chi or Chai. I like saying Chi only because it's by Karuchi and uh, I was very undecided. I didn't know which one I wanted. I first went in with Chai or Chi but then I thought it was a little too light and then I went in with the color Limbo. Sorry guys if you guys see me talking throughout the video. My little brother came in and he was asking me certain questions about certain things. But yeah, this is the lipstick that I ended up wearing. So like I had said before about my mascara, I can be messy. So here I just went in and I grabbed a q-tip and I just wiped off whatever I, I was letting dry because I do let the mascara dry. It would just flake off and my makeup won't smear. And then I went and I dug in my arts and crafts bag and I found a little gem. I have a box of gems so I placed one of those in the middle of my forehead. Something simple, nothing too crazy. Just to give it a little Coachella music festival look. Then I remembered I forgot to highlight my brow bone and I went in with the color Artemis from the Manny MUA 
palette and let me tell you that palette is amazing I went in and I just placed a tiny tiny amount on my brow bone just to make my brow bones stand out and there you guys have it that's my music festival inspired makeup look like I said before this is something I would personally wear I would do my hair like this and I would wear my hair like that with dark lips wear that burgundy hat and yeah I hope you guys liked it please like and subscribe and just, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.